How to navigate the CBC News app. Setting up your app. You can find the CBC News app available for download in the Google Play Store for Android devices and the App Store for iOS devices. Search for the app in the Google Play or App Store by using the search bar and typing CBC News app. Then simply install. Once the app has been installed on your device, you can open the app from within the Google Play Store or App Store or you can open it by tapping the CBC News app icon that will now be located on your device's home screen. When entering the app for the first time, you will be required to set some personal preferences before you get started. Step 1. Set up your local feed. Choose which local news feeds you would like to receive. The feeds that you select will appear in the local tab of the app. Tap the box to the right of the region you would like to add. You can add more than one region. Once you have chosen the regions you want, scroll to the bottom of the list and select Next. If you select Skip, you will not receive any news feeds in the local tab until you add regions. Step 2. Set your alerts. Select alerts that you would like to receive as notifications on your device. You can choose from popular alerts, such as breaking news, alerts based on a specific topic like entertainment, and alerts from different regions across Canada. You can choose as many as you want or you can choose to set none. Simply tap the box to the right of the options you would like to add. Once you have finished, select Take Me to the App. Keep in mind, you can change your local news feed options and alerts at any time. Changing your preferences. To change your local news feed options, go to the menu icon or settings icon in the top left of the screen. Select Manage My Regions. Here you will see all your chosen regions. To remove a region, tap the red subtraction icon. Please note that on iOS devices, after tapping the red subtraction icon, you will need to press the delete button that appears to the right of the region. To add a region, tap the green addition icon. Additionally, you are able to drag and drop the locations and reorganize the order of how your news will appear in the local tab. You will also find the option to change your alerts under the settings icon or the menu icon. Select manage my alerts then tap the box to the right of the topics and regions you would like to add or remove. You can completely turn your alerts on or off by toggling the allow alerts switch. Finding content. When in the app, you can choose from the different tabs located in the bottom navigation menu. In the top stories tab, you will find a lineup which mirrors the desktop version of cbcnews.ca and includes stories from around Canada and the world. In the local tab, you will find local stories based on the regions you have chosen. You can toggle between the different regions at the top. It is also possible to reorder your local news lineup by publishing time or by editor's picks. Toggle the switch left or right to reorder the lineup in your local tab. If you sort by time, the newest stories will appear at the top of the lineup. This feature currently only exists in the local news section of the app. In the video tab, you will find live news feeds, trending news videos, local news broadcasts and clips, and popular CBC news broadcasts. You can scroll through the different sections by swiping left and right. To play a video, tap the play icon. Once the video plays, tap on the screen and you will have access to the video player controls. Here you can skip forward and back, pause, scrub through the video, activate closed captioning, and cast or airplay to another device. To exit the video, press the down arrow in the top left of the screen. The video player will minimize. Simply press X to close. On iOS devices, minimizing the video will show a picture-in-picture -picture experience. You can drag the video and place it anywhere on the screen. Again, tap X to close.
In the Saved tab, you will find stories that you have saved for reading later. To save a story while reading, simply tap the bookmark icon found in the top right of the screen. You can also save a story within the lineup by tapping the bookmark icon found below the headline in the bottom right. Please note that the bookmark icon only appears in the lineup when not in compact layout, which can be toggled from the settings menu. Keep in mind, saved stories can be accessed here at any time, even offline. To remove a saved story, tap the edit icon in the top right of the screen. Tap the box to the right of the story, and then tap the delete icon in the top right of the screen. In the sections tab, You'll find individual sections for local, national, and world news, as well as topics including politics, business, health, and entertainment. What does follow story mean? Some of our major stories have a follow story icon. If you tap on the icon, you'll be sent alerts about the story as it develops. How to share a story with a friend. From a story page, select the share icon in the top right of the screen. You can then send a link to the story using the options available on your device, or you can choose to copy the link to your clipboard. How to enable dark mode. On Android devices, tap the menu icon found in the top left of the screen, then tap settings. Here you will find the dark mode option where you can toggle the switch on and off. On iOS devices, tap the settings icon found in the top left of the screen. Here you will find the color theme option where you can choose between light, dark or auto to mirror your device's settings.